Good afternoon, this is Jim Lakey with news and announcements for St. John and Maxville, Kansas on Cable Channel 3 and on sandylandcenter.org. Uh, today is Friday, it's May the 29th. The, high, the temperature at noon time is 66 here in the square, <coughs> and we're going to have a cloudy day with a high temperature of 76 today. Saturday and Sunday are both partly cloudy and windy, 87 the high on Saturday and 90 the high on uh, Sunday. Monday, Memorial Day, is partly cloudy and 88. There's a 20% chance of rain, which usually means that it'll get cloudy. Uh, then on Tuesday and Wednesday, both partly cloudy and windy again. Uh, 89 the high on Tuesday, 83 the high on Wednesday. We have uh, no birthdays uh, for the weekend, but since we'll be closed at the Shepherd Center, uh, the birthdays for Monday are uh, Jesse Garcia and Laura Smith. We hope that you have great birthdays. You get a whole holiday just for your birthday. <coughs> Then uh, one of the important announcements to make, and I'll do it now so I don't miss it, is that the parade tomorrow uh, will be broadcast live from here the Shepherd Center. We're going to uh, put the parade and connect it directly, and so we'll have the parade live uh, here at the Shepherd Center, and that'll be good for uh, folks who really can't go out and walk around so much. And or if they're sick at home, they can watch the parade on uh, Channel 3. Then uh, today the Sunflowers Fellowship meal is ham and beans and fried potatoes. Uh, then if they're, are they going to be open Monday? If they're open Monday, it'll be meatloaf and mashed potatoes and Tuesday will be ham and red potatoes. And I'm not sure if they'll be open Monday, but if you're going, you want to call and check. Then we have at Maxville, the fellowship meal there is baked fish or chicken strips. And then it's going to be closed. There'll be no fellowship meal on Monday, the holiday. And then on Tuesday, King Ranch casserole. And on uh, Wednesday, taco salad. Then we have the announcement of one of the Bible schools at the Trinity Community Church in Hudson. Uh, it's called Kingdom Chronicles, and uh, it's a Bible school. Uh, it will be from uh, May 28th through the 31st, from 2 to 4.30. And it'll be from children four years old through the four, the sixth grade. So if you're in the sixth grade and you're going to go to the seventh grade, uh, you can go to the Bible study. It's what grade you were in uh, this spring. <coughs> and they're going to have a bus from the square. So that'll help the people from St. John to get over to Trinity Church. They're going to leave at 1.30 and they'll return at around 4.45. And so this is one of the Bible schools, and I know a lot of the children here go to several of them, so it's a good thing for them to do. <clears throat> Better than what they might get into if left on their own. Well, of course, the major events for the weekend are the Jubilee, and uh, the uh, celebrating 100 years of the fountain being in the square. And I'll just, I might as well just do a bunch of them. Uh, <clears throat> on uh, tonight, uh, from seven, from five to seven, uh, the Hall Museum and uh, Hood Science Museum will both be open from five till seven. There's a flag ceremony with the Cubs, Cub Scout Pack uh, 354 with the opening flag ceremony at six. At 6.15, there's supper in the park, and uh, that's usually a well-attended event. At 6.30, 
uh, the Girl Scouts are having an ice cream social. And let's see, we've got, uh, they're having a, a state fair entertainment. And let's see, a, a discussion at the fountain about the 100th anniversary. The carnival starts from 7 to 1 in the night time. Uh, the beer garden has the same hours, and they have a street dance uh, from 9 to 1. <coughs> and then they have a bingo in the park from 9 until 12. And I'm not sure many of the senior citizens will have gotten up that early, because I know they, they go to bed before 12. Anyway, on uh, Saturday, <coughs> the uh, free breakfast at the Oddfellows Lodge at the Shell Center. Uh, the Recreation Commission has the Jubilee uh, runs from 8 until 10. Uh, 9 until noon, uh, the Hall Museum will be open and the library will be open. I guess it's from 9 until 4, the museum. And I think the Science Museum as well will be open uh, from 2 to 4. Uh, let's see, they have an information booth, the carnival goes from 9 to 5. They have uh, craft food and community booths in the square. Uh, the announcement of the Lady of the Year at 11, 100th anniversary uh, memorial at the fountain. 1.30 is the parade, and if you don't get out quick enough, you can watch it on Channel 3. Prize drawings are at 4.10. <clears throat> the flag ceremony closing will be from 5 to 5.15, and then that evening they have an alumni reunion uh, at the high school. So uh, you'll have uh, plenty to do, and of course on Memorial Day at 10 o'clock we'll have the uh, things that we do to remember our uh, soldiers that uh, got killed or hurt served. And that's important as well. Well, the word of the day is this. Uh, the woman's work that's never done is probably all those things she asked her husband to do and he didn't do. This is Jim Lakey, hoping you have a great holiday.